<laughs> Good morning, and welcome to Jay Linnet. I'm Ellis Swahart. And I'm Dakaria King. For Halloween, I'm a zombie, and Swahart is the last human alive. Today we have a jam-packed show with a Where's Chris Cox Spirit Week question, what do you like better, Halloween or Christmas? A library segment with Ms. Fallon, and our Spanish speaking segment with Anderson Brez, and an intro into science with Mr. Hillegas. But first, we want to take a look at Mr. Stickland's Thanksgiving food drive. Our Jalen Shields has more. Hi, hi I'm here with... Uh, hi, I'm Hayden. Today we're going to be talking about the food drive that Hayden does. Uh, I want to just ask you a few questions real quick. Uh, what is the meaning of the Thanksgiving food drive? Yeah, it's for a DECA project um, for community giving or community awareness. So we're just trying to raise awareness for food insecurity, especially within our school. Okay, okay. Um, what, could, what could people do to make a food drive successful? Uh, yeah, we're accepting donations. If students also need student hours, you can do that too. Anything to help um, let people have a good holiday is really acceptable. What motivates you to give back to the community? Um, I feel like I'm pretty fortunate. I'm pretty blessed for what God has given me, so I'm here to help other people have that too. How long have you been volunteering? Not really long at all. I just, this is my first time trying to do this, so yeah. For people who want to volunteer, when and how can they start? So we're going to have a sign-up sheet um, coming out soon. So, uh, it should be around the school and also in the newsletter. So if you guys want to volunteer hours, that should be available. If and not, you can email me or Mr. Quinones, and we will definitely help you out. Okay, thank you so much. Of course, thank you. This week's Spooky Spanish Report is brought to us by Anderson Perez, and it focuses on how Halloween is celebrated throughout the Latin world. Hola a todos y bienvenidos. Soy Anderson y el día de hoy hablaré un poco sobre el Día de los Muertos. Los Muertos es una celebración en la que se empieza el primero de noviembre y acaba el segundo de noviembre, eh, en la que se conmemoran a todos sus seres queridos, mascotas o personas especiales en tu vida. Con altares conmemorativos, como lo pueden ver acá, o con uh, sus comidas favoritas. Que se les... ah, para ese día hay muchas cosas especiales como personas que se disfrazan o hacen un pan especial, el pan de muertos, que es, casi solo se ve en esos días. Eh... Hello, I'm Elliot Swahir and uh, welcome to Where's Fish Cox. We have a brand new library segment. Today's story, read to us by Ms. Fallon, is very intriguing. Hello everyone. I'm Ms. Fallon and I'm back with a few book recommendations. Um, this week I'm going to feature Be Not Far From Me by Mindy McGinnis. And um, this book in particular is my favorite of her books. In the middle of the night she gets up and finds her boyfriend in a compromising situation with one of her best friends. And out of just this anger and this like emotional turmoil she just runs she just takes off running through the woods without really thinking about it without really paying attention and um, she falls she hurts her ankle she falls asleep and wakes up the next morning and is completely lost in the morning my foot is so bad i can smell it without bringing it to my nose which means anything else can too i didn't wake to anything chewing on me but there was a rustling in the brush when i slid out from the overhang in the morning to take a piss I try to be careful, but I'm weak as a kitten and manage to pee on myself a little. I'd rather smell like urine than death, though. One will keep the critters away, the other will bring them in for a meal. I strip off my clothes and slip into the creek. I smell like old bl blood and dried sweat, layered on top of death and piss. I wash as best I can, checking the line of mud I drew on my leg last night. The red streaks have marched past it as I slept the spread of infection reaching up my calf. The swelling follows, leaving skin swollen and tight. This is how I measure time, with no clock and the sun perpetually hidden. 
There's no such thing as minutes or hours, only the freckle on my leg, the scar beneath it, and how long it will take for the red fingers of inflammation to reach them. The answer is not long. The follow-up is even less if I get a fever that weakens me. Yesterday, I was thinking that if I'd been treating this whole thing like a test of my abilities, I needed to pass it real soon. After looking at my foot, I put the deadline a little closer, edging up on me just like the red on my leg. Urgency leads me to head off in clothes and still wet from the creek, adding to the weight I bear and chafing against my legs. I cannot wait for them to dry, cannot wait for the sun and wind to do me favors, cannot stop to try to catch a fish, because infinite patience is required to snatch one from the water with only your hands, and I have neither infinity nor patience. What I have is a bomb on the end of my leg, not one that will explode, but rather expand, licking its poison into my healthy tissue until I am no longer well enough to walk. Once that happens, I'm done. Woo, does she make it? I don't know, you're gonna have to find out. Come check it out if you uh, wanna see if she makes it, if she survives. So which is your favorite holiday, Christmas or Halloween? We decided to ask our lost and student body to find out. Coach D. Which one do you like better, Christmas or Halloween? Christmas. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Mrs. Galloway. What else did I say after that? <laughs> <laughs> I got short time here. Who am I here with today? Mrs. Galloway. Which do you like better, Christmas or Halloween? Both. Why? Well, my oldest child was born on Halloween, so I love Halloween. But as soon as the last trick-or-treater leaves, I get ready for Christmas. I can agree with that. Hudson, who am I here with today? Dean Heil. Which do you like better, Halloween or Christmas? Christmas. Great choice. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Mr. Cheatham. Which one do you like better, Halloween or Christmas? Halloween. Thank you. Our final story this week will introduce you to a new segment we will have on JLNN based on science with our Mr. Hillegas starting things off for us. Everybody, I'm Mr. Hilligus. I teach chemistry here at Lawson. Uh, we're here in seventh period with one of my favorite classes, and they are organically discovering the densities of a bunch of different liquid chemicals, measuring the masses and volumes. They're then practicing their graphing skills, making these graphs um, to discover the slope, which is the density of the liquids. Um, and then we'll be learning how to graph these on the computer on Excel so students can practice their graphing both by hand and on the computer. Um, and then it, it's just tying up and wrapping up our unit on density. This is my favorite class, so like I be so hyped to come here because Mr. Hilligus always has great energy, whether he's mad or not. You can't even tell if he's mad. And I just enjoy the activities that we get to do, and he loves this class, so. Best class at Lawson, especially best science teacher, Mr. Hilligus. This is the best teacher at Lawson. This is my favorite teacher, at least. That's all the news we have from this week's Jalen. I'm Alex Whitehart. And I'm Dakari King. Bye, guys. See ya. Peace. Ha 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 